Today's adventure begins at the top of the Orange Garage, looking down upon Disney Springs over there to the right. That is not a balloon. That is Planet Hollywood, looking like a sphere, however. I am on a mission, if the weather co right now it's sprinkling, if the weather cooperates, to go up inside that hot air balloon. Right now, it is not quite operational, however. Now, I have not had the best of luck in the last year or so with attempting to, but they were cones to go up in that attraction, but maybe today it will work out. Wait and see. Had to go down a couple levels to L2 in order to go through the checkpoint. I also have a vending machine here with some facial coverings and the little sanitizing station. If you didn't bring, a, if you didn't bring one of these items, you could purchase one for a couple bucks. How much are those? Two dollars. Two dollars. Welcome everyone, Adam DeWoo here, Dylan, theme park obsession. We are not in a theme park today, even though that clarifies your name. However, it is there's a gray area there because Disney Springs is on Walt Disney World property. So, it works. Yes. I'm inviting you to join me. We're just gonna roam around. What, what do you wanna do out here? Oh yeah, just cruise around and enjoy it. Just enjoy the day. I'm inviting you to join me and Dylan. Shall you? Take a look at the extended queue to get in here from over the weekend. It is already past the weekend on a weekday currently, but goodness, this, yeah, business has picked up. In fact, before, prior in my recent videos and visits back here in July and October, Orange Garage wasn't even open yet then. Certainly get your steps in. Plenty of walking takes place. Oh, he's doing a little walk in there. Got the guidelines in full effect. Hello, Minnie. Something I also noticed uh, prior to this month, they never did check the items you were bringing in. They just checked your temperature and that was it. In the parks, they you know made sure whatever was in your pocket were, was checked and now they have adopted that policy here as well. And even if the balloon does not take flight, there's still plenty of other items to see, including Christmas trees. There's some Jawas on here and a couple BB units and Chewbacca's sash up there but i'm really hoping that balloon starts to starts to work i have ordered a piping hot beverage from starbucks they are preparing and i'm looking out the window there you can see the balloon the odds are not looking good at all it is very gusty look at the look at the palm trees up there just you can probably even hear the wind against the microphone a regular coffee with a little vanilla a little vanilla added and a tiny bit of sugar. One cream, one sugar, and a little vanilla topping. Arguably, maybe one of the most popular murals out here. It's Jackie super enthused. Hello, good sir. What's the percentage of a chance of me getting on that balloon today? I'm gonna give it like a 15% chance. 15% chance. Are you awake, alligator or crocodile? I, I never can recall. I'm, you know, I'm looking at I'm looking at the formation of your face and your nose leaning towards crocodile but you could be a gator it looks like you're slumbering you're still you're still have oh you are awake i was incorrect you are totally awake hello there having a happy holidays and a merry christmas oh you've been a good you've been a you've been a good boy you have okay you're waiting for santa i i get it so i'm going the right direction for the special edition merch that was just released Oh, it's a Walt Disneyland pot figure sold here on the East Coast? All right, sounds good. I'll keep continuing making my way past Goofy's Candy Company and find the line. The cost is $40. Not only do you get Walt there in his pop form, but you also get the castle. Not the, not the Florida castle, the Anaheim castle, which Disneyland is still closed, so it's kind of nice to see this. $40 and you get your AP discount. And then over here, there is a Mr. Toad, which is designed by the Wonderground gallery. I am very fond of Toad. And still talking about Walt and Mickey. You got the partner statue right here as well. So much good. I'm not going to purchase any of this today, but it's a little nice little eye candy, a little window shopping for, you never know, maybe for the future. Also for $58, the Shag Tiki Room ear hat. That is, I, I like that a lot. And then over here, I believe this is Runaway Railway. Yeah, I think that's Runaway Railway, Mickey, right there. Nothing can stop us now. And in the store right next door is the Days of Christmas establishment. And you know, it is the season, so I'm gonna go in and look at some decor and items you can purchase for the holidays. And Jackie has 
She's put on a jacket now since the last time, and she's kind of dancing around in the puddle there. And on these nutcrackers there is, it says, not so much fun, but snow much fun. Holiday versions of the, the railroad, the train, and you can get the, the old school regular version. And check out this castle playset for $89.99. Currently, I do not own a tree for the holidays, but if I did get a Christmas tree soon, I, maybe one of my first ones would be this. There goes the ornament. Inside the pin trading depot, there is a section that says what's new, and there are quite a few seasonal holiday pins here as well, including he's going down the chimney there like Santa. Made it into World of Disney, and they have all the decorations and oh, a lot of, lot of very beautiful colors here in the, the main walkway entry point. It's an entire group of festive porgs with their cute scarfs on. I never noticed the orange bird over there painted on the side of the brick in here as well. It's the first time I've ever seen I've ever seen that one. After exiting World of Disney, does not look as if the weather is going to cooperate well. It's still very overcast up there. Many years ago, that used to be the parking lot. This was the main bridge entryway into Pleasure Island, and Planet Hollywood over there looked completely different. But there used to be a little archway here, and that used to be Mannequin's Dance Club right over there, that in the distance. And this river itself has been a little, it made it basically look a little bit different than it did back in the 90s from when I first started appearing out here. Got to stop into the boathouse for a little lunch and a meal right here along the water. And they have a few different, few different appetizers, one of them being the pimento cheese with chips and salsa, as well as a Velveeta cheese dip drenched in, not, it's not really the, the seashells of mac and cheese, but it's pretty close to it. Very, very tasty. And Santa Claus is cruising by, by boat. First the reindeers are going across the waterway, and then Santa and Mrs. Claus waving a little, a little caravan by water, if you will, cruising by here. And for the entree, these are filet mignon sliders. Pretty good price, they're only $14.99. $14.99 for two filet mignon sliders with fries. Very tasty. At the far end of Springs, the iconic House of Blues water tower looking very rustic there and Cirque du Soleil, well was the Cirque du Soleil building, which I don't even think at the moment is not, is not being utilized for anything. There's a new show called Drawn to Life that will be taking place at one point. And I do remember when this was Disney Quest, it is now the NBA experience. They completely bulldozed the Disney Quest building and now there is a NBA experience here in its place. Things really have changed over the years, that's for sure. I even recall when that smokehouse used to be the House of Blues ticket booth, ticket booth sales. And there's another one of the trees, the Christmas tree trail, this year is scattered all around the property. Way over here is a popcorn stand. And not only do they have popcorn, but they also have the, the decorative buckets, which is the Christmas tree. And here's also, you also put your popcorn in here as well. There's very festive with a nice warm winter cap on. Is that a snow globe? This is an annual pass holder snow globe sipper right here. Well, it looks like a snow globe. I don't know if it has any of the flakes in it, but it has the AP logo on it as well as the as this item. So I got a Jingle Bell Mickey. Oh, and there's the toppers there, the peppermint toppers for for your beverage. It's right underneath the base here of the House of Blues water tower. There goes the monorail. There's a couple of them like kind of looping up the top of the tree there and then peeking out the top is a part of another palm tree that's not attached to this. It just looks like it is. Yep, just as I thought, the balloon is still parked over there. I think gonna change up the plans and take a bus over to Fort Wilderness. All you have to do is hop on. Well, first you gotta walk through this area to the bus, bus station, find a bus and go over to one of the resorts. Okay, I stand corrected, not Fort Wilderness, but Disney's Wilderness Lodge here at platform number one. I have heard that there are over four, between four and 500 buses here on property that get utilized on a nearly daily basis. That's a lot of buses, right? Going to and fro, different properties, back and forth. Even though I parked the rental car at the Orange Garage, which is seen there, 
we'll be able to return back on the bus. That's the Orange Garage, right? Yes. I think Orange Garage is the most popular of I all. I always park at Orange. I think most people. See, Dylan was saying earlier that the Orange Garage is the only garage he even knew existed here because everyone always talks it, about the Orange it's Garage. It's one of the most famous parking garages ever. There are some lime people. There are some people who are dedicated to lime, but I, those people are, are a mystery to me. I'm all about the Orange. This is Orange County. I'm yeah. from Orange County in California. This is Orange County, Florida. Why not park at the Orange Garage? Makes sense to me. Too much sense. I'm just going to keep the camera on you <laughs> until you blink. Blinking contest. I'm zooming in. Your eyes are getting watery, aren't they? I'm not giving up. Very dry. I'm not. <laughs> you can see his eyelashes. It's oh, the look at that. That's good. There's a vlog section happening right behind oh. <laughs> Yeah, see, she is right on those retinas. Oh, yes. Right now. <laughs> Even though there is a Springs water tower there, it was rumored they were going to take the water tower from Disney's MGM Studios, now Hollywood Studios, and move it over here. But that never happened. I have no idea what happened to They were fearful of the earful. It's amazing how a simple 10 minute bus ride. The sky is now completely clear. There are no clouds. What the heck? What just happened? Florida. Yeah, Florida. The weather changes that quickly? Yeah. Barely. Oh man, this place is incredible. Look at that. I don't know what that noise is, but take a look how the light is shining through the window, almost Raiders of the Lost Ark style. That, what is that noise? There's some, must be some construction going on in the next room. Now I've never stayed here. This is just the lobby, but it, it is very impressive to say the least. This is very similar to the railroad cart you see in all the, the photos of Walt back in the day on top of it. Very, very similar, not the same one, but very similar to the one he was on. There is a bubbling fountain down here. Take a look at this. It's almost like it's like protruding up from the ground not, uh, not lava, well it's almost like a geyser, that, that's the word I'm looking for. Not lava from a volcano, but like a geyser like you'd see kind of shooting up to the heavens. And it makes me wonder, does it go to the outside? You got this bridge and then over, yeah, it, the waterway stretches out inside into outside leading, and there's a reef. Up on the top level, there are a few seats right up here and whatever you do don't look down that is we're way up here hello copper creek falls yep there's the waterfall right there looking very very majestic that is amazing that is the same waterway that was inside the lobby that pours out here and over those rocks even though you can take the bus over, there are no guests allowed unless you are staying with DVC. And you can see there are some, you got some uh, scaffolding up there. They're doing a little construction on the rooms, getting everything ready for when it's back to, to full, it's full operating procedure for normal guests. Later on, well, probably into early next year. But if you're DVC, you can stay here now. I'm not DVC, I just took the bus over. Boulder Ridge Railway and Mining Company and you kind of go over here and here's a, another water tower and you have Bay Lake over there in the distance and I do believe that that is Discovery Island off the shoreline there and just next to it to the side of that boat there was where River Country was. River Country was right over in there. They were going to build the new, the new hotel resort but I believe that has been put on on the back burner. Right here on the shoreline is a geyser. I never knew this existed until now. And every so often, could be every 15 minutes, every half hour, every hour, blasts off into the sky. No idea when that will happen. So have to be patient, just no pun intended, camping out. Even though the camp campground's over there. Good one. It's a good one, right? That's a good one. When do you think this geyser is going to go off? I don't know, man. I'm a little skeptical. You got your camera set up? Yeah, you know what though? Look at that. We can just pretend that's the geyser. If it doesn't go off, backup plan, we can just pretend that's the geyser. What do you say? The water just keeps going. That's, you have to be an 
on this. That's cheating though. Work. That's cheating. See, you know, it's just your backup plan. I'm just gonna wait on this. Alright, fine. At least we know for sure that it actually happened. Because we did see it earlier. I so. didn't see it, so we saw I it don't know. A, we saw it from a distance. Yeah, it's kind of like camping out for like a fireworks show. Yeah. But uh, it was like world of color. There's a lot of camping being thrown around. <laughs> We've been waiting here a while. <laughs> Any minute now. Come on, geyser. Come on, guys. This is a geyser at, at Disneyland Hotel. Yeah, I remember. It's from the old mine train through nature's wonderland. Mm. They transferred it over. This one, however, is a different one. It's gotta happen soon. Any minute now. Any minute it's gotta happen. I can feel it. Come on, geyser. Oh, no. So close. See it bubbling. Oh, no, it's not. It's just the wind blowing the water. We were told we had a few minutes till the geyser goes off, so we're getting some hot cocoa from Roaring Fork. Look, I think that's a bent fork up there, right? Is that how a fork the rolls? the fish's tail. It's oh, like a fork, right? Oh, the fish's tail. Kind of. Okay, and they're gonna bring the they're gonna bring the hot cocoa out. Normally, I drink coffee, but in this case, I'm gonna I'm gonna have myself a hot it's cocoa. Hot cocoa right? Yes. Two hot cocoa. And then there's a coffee on. And then Dylan's getting a, a coffee. Getting a coffee from. From the Roaring Fork. Yeah, look, check that out. It's like, that's a fork for a tail. A piping hot beverage that's coke. Oh, there it is. There it goes. I just saw it. It just went up. It just happened. I thought it was going to come out of that little. There it is. It is happening. It is on the hour plus two minutes. Whoa. This is happening right now. It's actually, it's real. It's a real thing. Look at that. Whoa, it is like really festooning itself up in the air. I thought it was gonna I thought it was gonna go out of that puddle there. I did too. But it's not going out of the puddle, it's, it's like going out. Water. Was that it? Oh that's not it. It's not over yet. There it goes. Look at that! All right, that's very gusty. Okay, I think that's it, I think it's done. That's the geyser. Nope, it's still teasing us. Still teasing just a little bit. There it is, there it, go for it, buddy. You show me how it's done, buddy. And that's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe. By doing so helps keep you in the loop. And I'll tell you future uploads here on this channel. If you enjoyed this particular episode, as completely random as it is, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know if you care. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is I think that's it. No, or not. Heck yeah, who needs a balloon? I'll be back for you, balloon. You're still grounded, but I'll be back when you're not grounded. I'll be back for you, balloon. Rest assured.